My first point is that uh, cancer is faster than uh, the response. Uh, cancer is still uh, epidemically growing despite all our efforts and progress of, of medicine and new drugs. Uh, and uh, in order to be more successful, we need to deal not only with, with cancer itself, but with its context, with the roots uh, of it. Uh, I think we were not enough attentive uh, to the different determinants uh, of cancer uh, and uh, I would measure success uh, in our fight against cancer by lower incidence or by diminishing inflow of uh, new uh, cancer patients. Uh, uh, I would measure it by the prolonged life of those who uh, were diagnosed with cancer but also by the attention to the survivors. I, once we will have less uh, cancer patients, uh, we will definitely, I, I would say statistical offices will, <laughs> will register that. Uh, then we can uh, measure uh, um, the years uh, after the diagnosis, so this uh, we, we can do. Uh, it's not that easy to deal with survivors because uh, in many countries, uh, uh, or I would say generally, we can say uh, the survivors are facing uh, problems uh, with reintegration um, uh, into society. They are facing uh, different, different problems, also financial problems, uh, because there is, I would say, less confidence uh, in them. Uh, and uh, I think that uh, we have to be much more attentive to their problems, as this was the, 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 the fact in the past. I'm interested what uh, uh, medical doctors will say. I, I'm not a medical doctor, I'm a politician. Um, uh, and uh, I, I would be pleased by announcements of new, new approaches or uh, I'm interested in the progress of the so-called personalized medicine. Uh, I would be pleased by, by the development of integrative medicine and so on. So whatever uh, um, could help uh, is, is, is welcomed. But uh, as I said, uh, despite the progress, um, we are still facing increasing numbers of, of, uh, of uh, cancer patients. You know, in the past, or maybe in, 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 in several countries in the European Union, those who, uh, who are diagnosed with cancer and in case they survive, uh, they are not uh, considered anymore, I would say, as uh, fully integrated people. They, they are still considered uh, as a sick people or people with, with, with some problems. Uh, very few go back to work, uh, uh, what means, uh, of course, uh, uh, very important uh, aspect of a full uh, reintegration. Uh, they are considered as different people. We may don't count on them in, in full terms, let's say so. Uh, they are considered as those who maybe will not be able to, uh, to pay loans or to, to do that and that. Uh, so I, I think that um, uh, another um, attention is needed uh, to, to those people and we are uh, we are facing more and more survivors. Uh, uh, of course, we are pleased by that, but this is, uh, so a few years ago, the palliative care was, was uh, much more um, uh, emphasized, let's say so, but, but now we, 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 we are asking for more attention to, to the survivors. You know, the EU, uh, of course, uh, doesn't have competence. Uh, uh, it is not able uh, to legislate in that regard, but, but we can uh, share good practices. Uh, we can prepare recommendations. Uh, we, we can do research. Uh, we must be attentive to the inequalities we see within Europe and also within the member states. Uh, so there are many so-called supportive measures uh, which can be undertaken by European authorities. One of my main points is, uh, for me, the fact that only 3% in average, 3% of national health budgets are used for prevention. This means that 
for me, this is a statistical mistake. It's not expression of a policy. Uh, we know that investment into prevention is the best one. Uh, we, we, we get a lot of benefits of it. Uh, but the member states uh, invest more or less all the money into health systems, into hospitals and so on. Uh, but we need to invest into prevention. Only by that uh, we can diminish the inflow of new patients. This means more education. Um, this means uh, different agriculture. This means uh, investment into environment and so on. So I think we need, I, I like to say, we need a paradigmatic change in our, in our mind. Yeah, we, of course, the health systems in the European Union, uh, I think in all member states uh, are facing problems. Uh, uh, and uh, there is European Union's uh, principle, health for all and health in all policies. But the drugs are more and more expensive. <clears throat> New therapies are, are expensive. And uh, we fear that we will not be able to provide health for all uh, in these in this terms. Uh, so we have to develop knowledge and to combine uh, old and new knowledge in order to really put the uh, patient uh, at the center. Um, and uh, I, I think that the governments uh, as a whole, uh, whole uh, entire governments uh, have to take care on that. Uh, again, I would say if uh, health is just an issue of medical doctor, m m minister of health, <laughs> then, then we are lost. You know? So at this front against cancer, we need many stakeholders, uh, very well coordinated actions, uh, uh, and uh, we see big differences between uh, member states uh, uh, and um, even all member states don't have uh, in cancer national cancer registries. No, or they don't. All of them don't have yet uh, national cancer plans or cancer control plans. So we are really dealing with, 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 as we say, iron curtain within the European Union. So we have to invest there, and uh, none of uh, member states can deal with inequalities within the European Union. Their only European Union can undertake something.